I'm Adil Kumar. Welcome to our series on interesting questions. Here we have a question based on mixture and dilution concept. The question here is, container A has 100 liter milk and container B has 100 liter water. First 10 liter of water is removed from B and mixed in A. Then 10 liter of mixture from A is removed and mixed with B. Now both have 100 liter of milk and water mixtures. Which of the following statement is true? Explain. Percent of water in A is more than percent of milk in B. Percent of water in A is less than percent of milk in B. And C is percent of water in A is equal to the percent of milk in B. Right. So you have to think about it and select the right option. Provide reason. Right. Here is my take on it. Let me explain the concept since uh, some of my grade 8 students are very much interested in this question and I hope its solution will help them understand the situation, right? So we'll begin with the, the two containers as we are saying. So let's say we have these two containers. And uh, in the container A, we are saying we have 100 liters of milk. Right? This is A for us. This is B for us. And to start with, we have 100 liters of milk. So this is most of it is milk. And this is pure water. We have 100 liters of water. Now first, 10 liter of water is removed from B and mixed in A. So what is happening here is we are removing 10 liters of water and we are transferring this to this place. So we are adding 10 liters of water. Correct. So at this stage, the situation is kind of like what? At this stage, we have 90 liters water in B. Here, we have uh, 110 liters in all, 100 liters of milk plus 10 liters of water, correct? So that is the situation at present. Now, it says then, 10 liter of mixture from A is removed and mixed in B. So now we are doing this operation and providing 10 liters of mixture, right? So we have now 10 liters of mixture. Clearly we have milk and water. We are assuming they have been mixed properly, right? So we have to take 10 liters of this. So if I take 10 liters of this mixture, how much milk will be removed and how much water will be removed? That is important to understand. Correct? So you can think like this. This ratio is 100 is to 10, which is 10 is to 1. Right? That is the ratio. So the total amount is 11. Do you understand? If I want 10 liters, then in that case, I have to take 10 out of 11 of water and that milk will be 100 out of 11, right? That will give me 10 liters. See, when you add them up, you get what? You get 11 as the base, right? And here we have 100 and 10, right? 100 and 10. And that is equal to when you divide 10. Do you see that? So when you really want 10 liters of mixture to be taken away, in that case, you can clearly see that you are actually removing milk, which is 100 over 11, right? That fraction of milk. So this is the milk removed, right? And that is the water removed. So that means in this particular solution, what are we adding? We are adding 100 over 11 of milk, right? 
plus we are adding 10 of 11 of water. Well, total still, total we have 90 plus 10. So we have 100 liters. Here also we have 100 liters left. Do you see? So in both the cases, what you notice is that finally, since we added 10 liters, removed 10 liters, both containers have 100 liters of mixtures now, right? So both have 100 liters of mixtures. Now the question really is, do we have more water in milk or do we have more milk in, milk in water, right? That is what we have to figure out. So now it's a simple thing. So in this water, we have 100 over 11 of milk, right? So what we need really want to figure out percent of water in A, right? So percent of water in A. So in A, we want how much water is there. So let's figure this out. So let's find water in A. So as far as water is concerned, previously, we added 10 liters, right? So we had 10 liters and from that we took away 10 over 11, right? So we took away 10 over 11 liters, correct? So that means how much is left? Difference of the two. Basically, 11 times 10 is 110 and this is minus 10 over 100 and that is equal to 100 over 11 liters, right? So that much of water is in A. Good. Let us also see how much milk we have in B, right? As far as B is concerned, we have 100 over 11 of milk, right? So we have 100 over 11 of milk. As you can compare now, both are same. Both are 100 over 11. Do you see that? Both are 100 over 11 liters. So both are same. Correct. So coming back to our question, so in this particular case, what we found is that both are equal. That is option C is correct option. Do you see that? 